Welcome back everyone, iOS 14.7.1 just officially came out, so let's take a look at it on the iPhone 8. Now what I can tell you is, is that this specific update was a pretty small update, it wasn't a massive one by any means. If I go and click here, you can see for this specific iPhone, something on my nail, for this specific iPhone it was about 121.2 megabytes, and you can even see from this specific, you know, release document that it wasn't a super crazy update with, you know, massive amounts of fixes and all that stuff. It really only fixed one thing, maybe two things tops, and that essentially was the Apple Watch problem for Face ID iPhones. Now the iPhone 8 is not supported with Face ID, so it's not really relevant here, and I'm not too sure if you can unlock the Touch ID with your Apple Watch, I don't think that really works. But here's the thing, there was an issue plaguing a lot of iPhones with Face ID that for those of you who unlocked your Apple Watch with your phone and vice versa, you were not able to do that with iOS 14.7 for some weird reason. I'm not even too sure why that happened. But this update did actually end up fixing that. So if you're somebody who had a Face ID iPhone and you're watching this video, then that's pretty much the main reason why you would want to upgrade because it fixes that. Other than that though, they do mention there's like some bug fixes and improvements if you click learn more. And ultimately, there was another pretty big security problem for a lot of iPhone users. And as you can see, it even mentions it here. This update also provides important security updates and is recommended for all users. There was another exploit that was going around, but that has essentially been fixed apparently with iOS 14.7.1. Apple keeps these things pretty broad, so you never really know in detail unless you click learn more and read about it. But those are essentially the main updates. And to kind of answer the question, should you install 14.7.1 on your iPhone 8? I would say yes, 100%. You know, this is a much needed update for sure. Again, it just fixes bugs. If you're trying to get the most amount of features and all that stuff, this is not going to be the update for you. But it's still an update that you should probably install, mostly because it fixes a lot of problems that we had on the previous versions of iOS. The Face ID thing with Apple Watch, that is a massive problem. The exploit that happened, that is a massive problem. So having the ability of fixing those things, and you know, that's a pretty big thing. Now, I don't know about battery life or anything yet. This update just came out, so we're going to have to kind of keep in mind and kind of use it as it goes on and kind of, I'll, I'll let you guys know in a couple of days. But do keep in mind that this is an update that if you're somebody who, you know, has been having a lot of problems on your iPhone, this is the update that you should install to. It's not even 100 megabytes. It's barely over 100 megabytes for a lot of people. And I'd recommend you guys to install it for sure. So that essentially covers it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.